Four days after Hurricane Ian ripped through southwestern Florida, the stranded are reaching safety. The roads to rebuilding are being cleared. Survivors are thankful they can see the sun once more. We shouldn't be alive right now with that storm. This is the power of that storm. I mean, if that would have crashed into the side of the house, we, I mean, it would have, we would have been swept away. More than 800,000 homes and businesses still have no electricity. Flooding threatens communities struggling to begin cleaning up. And even in the face of their own losses, food banks try to help others. We were able to start grilling and cooking food outside. Yesterday, we, we cooked for over 200 families that came and just eating outside. And yesterday, I only took water outside. Uh, today, we took food because we were able to kind of walk in here and get stuff. The head of the U.S.'s emergency response agency says even though Ian has passed, people still must be careful. We see so many more injuries and sometimes more fatalities after the storm because there are so many dangers out there. What I can say is people need to stay vigilant right now. Standing water brings with it all kinds of hazards. It has debris, it could have power lines, uh, it can have hazards in there that you just don't know about. And so we wanna make sure that people are being extra cautious. And as the death toll mounts, some are accusing local officials of waiting too long to give the order to evacuate. Dry land, bud. The official's response, the government can only do so much. They also understand that there are some people that don't want to leave their homes. We cannot force them to leave their homes. That's their homes. But we can do everything we can to educate them and make sure they're aware of what's coming their way or possibly, because again, this was so unpredictable. On this coming Wednesday, U.S. President Joe Biden will tour the damage and meet with residents and government leaders. His job? Reassure everyone the worst is over. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera.